we have big summer storms here in Northern Virginia just about every year, and just about every year we lose power. Um, we install battery backups for a lot of our customers. I've heard about these water-powered backups. What can you tell me about? So, like you said, there's a there's two different options for backups: water-powered versus battery. And, and the downside of a battery backup is that it has a, a limited life uh, or a limited runtime during a power outage. There's an X number of uh, you know pump cycles in that battery, and after those are gone, that's all that's left. With a water-powered backup, you have the peace of mind that knowing it's going to run continuously with no battery that can run out, and it's going to continue to keep your basement dry regardless of how long that power outage is. Just because it's running off of the city water supply, which they have back backup generators on all those systems, um, you know, at the town level, so those things are all taken care of, and you're never really going to lose your municipal water supply. Now, will this pump water out as fast as the main pump would have? No, this is about what we say is roughly about half the water output of, as your main pump. So, if your main pump really can't keep up at all, the chances of a battery backup or a water power backup being able to completely keep up are pretty slim. Um, it's you know a half to, to two thirds of the capacity of a typical sump pump. Um, one, one important thing to remember with the water power backups is they are using municipal water um, and, it, and you pay for that in your water bill. Um, so it's important that you don't use this except in emergencies. Um, okay. One situation that can happen is your primary sump pump can fail, your power's on, and this could take over and keep your basement dry. You'd be very, very happy until the water bill comes.